Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Uh, another tutorial video here for you. Slightly different from my normal piano tutorial videos I do. Uh, in this one, I'm going to show you how to change your hard drive in a MacBook. So, for this, you're going to need a MacBook, obviously, um, a external USB hard drive to back up the data, the hard drive you're going to be replacing, and a precision toolkit. Uh, well, or Philips, uh, but obviously on the Macs, they're quite quite small fitting so a precision toolkit is uh, obviously going to be preferred or a lot better for you. Uh, so once you've got all them things um, you're ready to go basically so the first thing you want to do is back up your data. Uh, to do this uh, the most easiest and simplest way to do this is to use the Time Machine app which is integrated into the Mac OS operating system. Uh, now there's, there's a few ways of uh, locating this. Firstly if you haven't plugged in your external USB drive before, um, when you do so, uh, by default, you should be prompted with a pop-up box that will ask you if you want to use this external device uh, with the Time Machine app to back up your data. It's not going to come up in this case because I've already used it. Uh, so, to locate it, just go to Applications or click on your hard drive. Uh, go to Applications, uh, you can see that properly move that forward a bit for you. Uh, go to applications and in there you'll find the Time Machine app um, which is located there. Uh, double click on that um, and then just follow the very very simple uh, instructions uh, on backing up your data. Um, bear in mind that can take you know from a few minutes to several hours depending on the amount of data you're backing up of your hard disk. Um, once that's done um, just obviously eject the disk properly, just to ensure there's no corrupted files to do that, obviously just sort of hold control, right click, uh, sorry, control, right click, there you go, and eject disk. Um, there we go, give that a couple of seconds, just to make sure, okay, there we go, now we can unplug it. Um, so, there you go, you now have uh, a complete image and backup uh, of your entire hard disk via the Time Machine app on an external hard drive. There you go, put that to one side. Um, then obviously you want to shut down the machine properly. So the first thing is obviously just go to the Apple sign uh, at the top right, uh, sorry, top left of the screen. Go to shut down, confirm, uh, let that shut down. Give it a couple of minutes just to make sure it's you know, completely shut down. Um, once that's done, the obviously next step is to obviously open it up and remove the hard drive. So, I'm going to turn it over and obviously you're presented with several screws around the perimeter. Um, these are all uh, commonly a Phillips fitting, very small one actually, hence the precision toolkit. So, you want to go ahead and remove all these screws. So, I'll just go ahead and do that now. Okay, so almost done. I'm going to remove the last screw. These are quite, uh, quite small screws. A lot of the time on some of these MacBooks, uh, these back screws, uh, tend to be longer ones um, than these ones, quite small, I don't know if you can see that on the camera. Uh, so just bear that in mind obviously. Um, yeah, so all the screws are removed, obviously now it should be a case of literally just lifting the uh, aluminium case off. Um, so we'll remove that, put that to one side. Obviously then we can see the sort of inside, the, you know, DVD, ROM drive, motherboard, RAM, battery, and there's a hard drive obviously there. Um, so to remove this, um, fairly simple. Again, you've got um, a few Phillips uh, screws here and then another two here. Um, so we want to go ahead and uh, remove them. Now these first two at the top, you can actually leave in um, this section here. So if we just loosen them, loosen them right up like that. And leave them in and then this should literally just, just lift up gently yeah we'll just put that there for the minute uh, and then there's another two screws here I'll just remove them these you're going to want to take out completely just put them to one side and leave that one there we go last one right now there oh, we go uh, obviously there's a few ways I mean you want to be quite gentle when doing this but it, it should be a case of literally literally just lifting it out um, now obviously the SATA connection there you can see you literally just want to very gently just remove that there and then obviously there's our hard drive that we're going to replace um, this is a standard two and a half inch uh, SATA connection hard drive um, you'll notice that it's uh, got these four screws here protruding uh, this is to fit snug and um, sort of enables you to secure it 
with this section here and into these holes here. Just keeps it more snug and fit, you know, in case it sort of moves around, bashes about. Obviously, that's the last thing you want to happen to a hard drive, you know, when a disc is spinning. Um, so, yeah, so with your new hard drive, let's put that to one side, um, what you're going to want to do, obviously, is the chances are you're not going to have them, uh, them screws on the side there, as you can see from this one. Um, so, you're going to want to remove them. Now, these typically are a very small star shape fitting. I don't know if you can see that on the camera there. Um, so, you're going to need, obviously, your precision tool kit. Most standard ones should include this. Um, so, basically, you just want to go ahead remove these four and then uh, obviously all hard drives they come with like a standard fittings on the side that you can see they'll just screw into there uh, so yeah just go ahead I'm going to remove these four I'm going to put them onto the new one okay so there we go just putting the last one in there don't do them up too tight okay so that's now ready to be fitted um, so yeah obviously just gently um, grab the uh, connection there and just slot it in like so. Um, now what we want to do is um, push these first two in like that and then these second two will just fall down and slot nicely in there. That's now nice and snug and then obviously you want to replace this bar here um, and just change the fitting, the star fit into a Phillips again. And then it's just a case of literally just screwing these up quite gently like that. There we go. And obviously um, the other two screws you remove from here and here. Again, they'll just go straight back in. Um, yeah, and that will then hold the hard drive nice, securely in place. <coughs> Put that last one in. There we go. Right, so that is your hard drive um, fitted, basically. Uh, obviously the next step is to replace the cover and put back the screws that you removed earlier. So we'll do that now. Okay, so they are all the screws fitted back in. Okay, so the next step is open your MacBook up. Um, obviously get a hard drive um, from earlier where you backed up all your data on via the time machine app. Uh, just gonna plug that in the side there. Like that, no, I can never get it the right way. God, why don't they just invent a USB port that works both ways, I do not know. Um, okay, so you're now ready to uh, install your uh, OS operating system and date you've backed up um, onto a new hard drive. So, first thing you'll do is turn it on. You'll hear a bong noise. As soon as you hear that noise, you're going to hold down the uh, Alt key, like that. You hold that for a couple of seconds. And there you go, it's uh, found the external USB hard drive. So again, literally just turn the computer on, give it a couple of seconds for the bong noise quite distinctive to Apple. Um, as soon as you hear that noise, hold down the Alt key for a couple of seconds um, and you'll be presented with sometimes various options. There may be a partition or recovery partition on the hard drive where it's not been formatted. So you may get a few options, uh, but obviously in this case, the hard drive that we've fitted into it is um, a new one completely formatted. So you should only get this one option up, um, which is obviously our external hard drive where our data is backed up to. So you just wanna literally just click on that like so. Okay, there you go. Um, once that Apple logo has come up and loaded up, uh, you'll be presented with the uh, OSX Utilities uh, screen. And you can see that properly on the camera. There you go. Um, so you've got a few various options here, obviously. Disk Utility, um, Get Help Online, Reinstall OSX. Uh, and restore from Time Machine Backup. Uh, now you can reinstall an a clean operating system um, without all your data on it via a USB stick. Um, I won't explain how to do that in this video. Obviously there's numerous, uh, endless amounts of videos on YouTube explaining how to do that. If you wish to do that, you are gonna wanna select reinstall OS X. Um, obviously for this video, we're gonna be restoring our data and operating system from the Time Machine Backup. So we're gonna to wanna to select uh, restore from Time Machine Backup. So I'm gonna click on that and click continue. A couple of seconds, uh, then you get to this screen, restore from time machine. So you just want to obviously just click on continue for that. Uh, give that a couple of seconds. That's now going to search uh, for a time machine backup, which is obviously located on our uh, external hard drive. So I'm going to click on that and then click continue. Like that. So there we go. Um, now obviously there's a there's two on here because obviously where I've backed it up, it does it periodically. 
um, every couple of minutes or so. Uh, so we'll, we'll do the most recent one, um, which is the top one, uh, and then it's literally, obviously, just click on that and then click continue. Um, again, you'll be presented with this screen just showing you your hard drive that you've got installed into it. Um, just going to click on that uh, and then click restore. Um, obviously, once you click restore, uh, again, it will just confirm saying that the data will be erased on the disk that you've installed or hard disk you've installed into the into the Mac. Um, obviously, it doesn't matter because it's a completely new hard drive. There's no data on there anyway. Um, so we'll click continue. Give it a couple of seconds. Um, and quickly erase it and format it to a Mac journal uh, file system. Um, and then it will come up restoring files. Again, give it a couple of minutes, uh, you know, just to sort itself out. And then you'll get a, it will come up calculating time and you'll get a, an approximate time as to how long it's going to take to complete. Now, most of the time, it's it's never actually quite accurate what it says. I mean, you're probably going to get something that sounds like several hours, uh, but realistically, um, you're going to be looking on sort of a, at least a good hour. Um, with most hard drives, I mean, in this video, we're just using a just a 250 gig hard drive um, and the data we're backing up um, doesn't exceed probably 150 gig um, so I would probably assume anything sort of two maybe 300 gigs worth of data will probably take at least probably one to two hours and um, you can see it's just started to restore files 0.2 percent um, time remaining again give it a couple of minutes calculating just let it sort yourself out you'll get an approximate time but don't listen to what it says because it's, it's never actually that long I mean uh, I've done quite a few of these and quite more often than not it comes up, you know, sort of four, five, six, several hours uh, and most of the time it doesn't take that long, it does take a couple of hours so don't worry too much about that. Uh, so yeah, now it's just a case of uh, just sit back, chill, let it do its thing, um, come back to it when it's complete. Uh, so we'll just give that a moment. Okay, so there you go, it's taken just over two hours. Um, that's now complete, you'll be prompted with a square box to sound success. Um, that will now reboot, you can see the Apple logo, um, and that should boot up fine. And uh, yeah, that's how you replace a hard drive on your Mac. Uh, yeah, thanks for watching, hope it helps you. Uh, check out my other videos and subscribe. See you soon.